Hi, this is Anne McKinnell. Thank you for joining me in this short demonstration of how to resize your images in Lightroom 4. I have a folder here of images that I made in Nevada. And what I'm going to do is select one of these and export it in a different size so that I can put it on the internet. So the first thing I'm going to do is select File, Export. Now in this pop-up window is where you make all of your settings for how you want your export to go. So you can export this to the same folder as your original photo or you can choose a specific folder. I'm going to choose a specific folder for this. So I'll go choose and I'm going to put this in my pictures and create a new folder here and I'm going to call it gallery. And this will be my first photograph in this folder called gallery and I select choose. So here you can see the folder path where my exported folder will go. Now, if you want, you can put it in a subfolder within this, which can be handy if you're going to leave this in the same folder as the original folder. I can make a subfolder called blog or gallery or something like this. In this case, I created a folder especially for this, so I'm not going to select that. In file naming, here I've chosen to rename it to file name, which essentially means don't rename the file, it's going to be the same. And if I wanted to, I could choose here a custom name, I could call it Nevada, or I could have a sequence and call it Nevada-1 if I wanted to export a series of photographs or something like that. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it alone. Now in the file settings, the image format that I'm choosing is JPEG because it's going on the internet. If I was going to print this image, I might choose TIFF or something different depending on your circumstances. The color space, I choose sRGB, again for the internet. If I was going to print this or if I was going to take this photo into a different editing package, I might pick something different here. But because it's going on the internet, I'm going to pick sRGB. This section here is where I am telling Lightroom the size of the exported image. Now if I don't want to resize it, I can uncheck that and it will export this as a JPEG in SRG format in the same file, uh, file size it's in now. In this case, what I want to do is export this photo so that it's a thousand pixels wide. So I select Resize to Fit and put 1000 in the width. Now I could also put a value in the height instead of the width if I wanted to, or both. But what I'm going to do is just put 1000 in the width and let Lightroom decide the height of the image in order to keep it in proportion. The resolution I am choosing is 72, um, similar to some of the other options the photos come out of my camera as 240 pixels per inch and if I was going to take this into another software editing package or something like that I would probably leave this at 240 its native resolution but since I'm putting it on the internet I'm going to select 72 since that is what the web is capable of displaying now you can sharpen your image here if you like I generally sharpen my image if I want to do that when I'm editing it. Um, I usually only check this in the case if my image has text in it or something like that that I want to be super sharp. Generally I don't check that one. And then metadata, I usually leave my metadata alone. I want all of my keywords and my copyright going with my image everywhere it goes. So I keep that and say I want all my metadata. Um, I have remove location info here. That's not really important for me. I don't care if the location info, if there is any, goes with the photo. In this section, I can choose to watermark my image if I want to, and I have some watermark presets set here. 
But in this case, I don't want a watermark, so I don't check that. So those are pretty much all of the export settings. There are quite a few here, but I'll show you in a moment how simple this can really be. Once I've made all of these selections, before I go ahead and click export, what I want to do is add a preset for this so that when I want to do this again with the exact same settings, it's going to be super simple. So I'm going to click the add button over here and create a preset called gallery, since that's what I'm doing in this case, exporting images for my gallery. So I select create and then I go export. And you can see in the upper left hand corner of Lightroom that it's working on it and the task is completed. So now if I look in Finder or Windows Explorer, if you're using a PC, I can find that folder that I made called Gallery, and there's my image. And its dimensions are 1000 pixels wide. Perfect. So now back here in Lightroom, let's say I want to do the exact same thing with a few more images. So I'm going to select this image, and this image, and this image. And now all I have to do to export these with the exact same settings as the last image, I choose File, and I choose Export with Preset, and I'm going to go down here and choose Gallery. And that's all there is to it. Lightroom is working on it here, and it's going to export those three images with the exact same settings as I exported the original image. So here Lightroom is working on it. You can see it's exported one of the three, it's done two of the three, and it's finished. So when I go again and look in Finder, now I have four images in that folder, and they're all 1000 pixels on the long side. I hope you found this demonstration helpful. Thanks for joining in.